Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. For today's video, I pulled out all of the Simon Says embossing folders that I own. I wanted to modify a printmaking technique that I used for a Christmas card collection last year. Once I started, I couldn't stop and I ended up with 17 cards, so there's lots of examples for you today. The backgrounds for these cards were made very, very quickly, working with Distress Paints and a Brayer. For this first embossing folder called Wildflower Field, I'm working with a combination of Cracked Pistachio and Salty Ocean Paint. The Distress Acrylic Paints Rustic Wilderness and Speckled Egg are a perfect backdrop for Vine Canopy. For all of the backgrounds, the paint is applied to the flat side of the embossing folder. Simon's embossing folders are thicker than most. The sandwich that I use in my Big Shot is the number one platform with just one embossing plate. As you roll the folder through, you should feel just a slight amount of resistance. Anything more than that, stop and adjust your sandwich. I had to throw in a few Christmas cards with this grouping. I didn't have the opportunity to use this beautiful embossing folder filigree snowflake last season. I embossed a few panels with a combination of Mermaid Lagoon and Hickory Smoke. Of all the embossing folders, Forest Border is definitely my favorite. I made a few panels for Christmas cards using Dusty Concord and Mermaid Lagoon. When rolling the paint on, you need to be careful not to apply too much at once. I like to put on a number of thin layers of paint. Here I'm using a wet one just to lift up some paint that pooled in the impression. By changing the colors to Mermaid Lagoon and Rustic Wilderness, I was able to prepare a background that I would use for a friendship card. A couple of backgrounds were prepared using Splendid Leaf Circle Frame Embossing Folder. This panel was done with Squeeze Lemonade, creating a very soft background. Salty Ocean was rolled on to the embossing folder Lumen. For the Fall Foliage embossing folder, I used a combination of Dusty Concord and Milled Lavender. I often will use two colors. Depending on how they are rolled out, the colors can be quite distinct or they can be blended, creating a subtle modeled effect. The beautiful soft color of Dusty Concord was used for the background on Peony Bundle. Distress Oxide Ink Wilted Violet catches the high points of the image, producing a monochromatic panel. The sentiments for most of these cards came from a beautiful new set by Simon Says Stamp called Inside Friendship Messages. I chose a different sentiment for each of the peony backgrounds. They were stamped with black Versafine ink and then embossed with clear embossing powder. All of the background panels in this video were adhered to either black or white sheet foam and attached to top folding A2 size card bases. In the case of the peony backgrounds, black card stock was trimmed down to slightly smaller than an A2 size before attaching the background to the card base. This card was finished up with a few lilac sequins topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. Tiny drops of Supernova Dream Drops embellish the buds on the branch finishing up these cards. The same technique of applying Distress Oxide inks to the raised area of the background was used for the Vine Canopy cards. 
A combination of mowed lawn and twisted citron add to the tropical feel of this card. When applying this ink, a light touch is used so that the background is not affected. The sentiments for these cards, also from Inside Friendship Messages, were embossed on vellum. The sentiments are laid out first so that they are positioned on the right hand side of the band. For both of these cards, there will be a main sentiment and a secondary one. The main sentiments are stamped first with Versamark ink and embossed in gold. These are larger sentiments and I emboss them twice so that they have a nice smooth puffy appearance. The secondary sentiment is stamped with black Versafine ink and coated with clear embossing powder. When I want a black embossed sentiment, this is the method that I prefer to use rather than black embossing powder. In this way, I know for sure I'm not going to be contending with any black specks. The vellum band is wrapped around the panel with some nice crisp folds and held in place with scotch tape. These cards were finished up the same as the previous ones and embellished with gold sequins topped with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. Now for the finishing touches on the backgrounds made with the embossing folder Splendid Leaves Circle Frame. The background with the squeeze lemonade paint was so subtle and soft that I wanted the design to stand out a little bit more, so I inked the top with Distress Oxide ink, Iced Spruce. A die cut by Simon Says Stamp Birthday Wishes is the perfect size to fit around the circle detail. In my opinion, Christmas cards always need a little bit of sparkle. I hit the high points of the snowflakes with my Versamark ink pad. I emboss the snowflakes with silver sparkle embossing powder, which is a mixture of clear with some silver glitter. This was the perfect amount of shine and sparkle for these Christmas cards. The sentiments from Simon Says Stamp Joyful Season were embossed in silver on vellum paper. These cards were finished up with silver confetti topped with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. This set of Christmas cards using Simon Says Stamps Forest Border, which is my favorite embossing folder, was completed much the same way as the previous Christmas cards. I used Ranger's Holographic Embossing Powder and I applied a lot more pressure to the Versamark ink when I applied it. The tiny glints of multicolored sparkle are consistent across the background. Switching up the colors provided a background for an all-occasion friend card. The backgrounds created with fall foliage were finished up with some sentiment die cuts by Simon Says Stamp, Warm Hugs and the World Needs. These cards were embellished with some pretty crystals by Studio Kasha called June Lavender. For the card made with the Lumen folder, all the crisscrosses were embellished with Nouveau Crystal Drops Duck Egg Blue. The stacked sentiment is a die cut from Simon Says Stamp called Paper Hugs. A thin application of Gina K's Glitz Glitter Gel gives it lots of shine. My final card, made with the Wildflower Field Embossing Folder, was accented with Nouveau Dream Drops Cloud 9. And that wraps up this set of cards featuring embossing folders by Simon Says Stamp. I love the look created with the acrylic paint being applied to the embossing folder with a brayer. Even when you use the same colors, each card is unique with a slightly different texture and coloration. This is a great technique to use to mass produce cards. 
As always, I appreciate your visit.